Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about dating success for men and the topic for this video is what to write. We are talking about internet dating strategies and uh, this is probably one of the key challenges that you will face when you start sending messages. It is what to write. I mean, what do you write to a girl if you, there is a good potential, a good uh, you know, potential link there, uh, she looks attractive. What do you say? How do you start? Very often that's the number one challenge guys are going to be facing and uh, they find it difficult to, to overcome that. A girl will find, you know, will respond to your, to your message if it's intriguing, if it's interesting, if there is something there that tells her that you are an interesting guy, okay? So you don't just, um, you know, send a one-line message saying, hello, what's up, <laughs> you know, that's usually not the way to go. What you want is to go back to her profile, okay? You are going to spend a minute just checking her profile. Check what she says. And once you find a couple of, you know, maybe ideas or a point or something that sounds interesting or something you can tease her on, something you can ask her uh, for an opinion on, then you engage and you write a short message on that topic. Okay, you are not going to write a message about the fact that you are looking for your soulmate and be all sentimental about that. Okay, that's one thing that you don't want to do. What you want to write a very short, uh, you know, a couple of sentences message that tells her that you are an interesting person, that it will be fun to relate to you, okay? So the best way to do that is to find something in her profile maybe that she's uh, proud of. Uh, you know, it might be that she goes a lot to the gym or she looks really cute or she, um, you know, uh, maybe she has a, a passion for, you know, for, uh, for cats or something like that. So there are always a couple of elements you can tease her on or you can target or you can challenge her a little bit on, on that. So that's usually the best way to go. If you are too kind, you know, if you are, for instance, just giving her a nice compliment, wow, you know, you have beautiful eyes. Well, a girl who is somewhere between an 8, 9, 10, she gets that a lot. Okay? She will get lots of compliments, she will get lots of messages that simply, you know, bow to her, to her beauty and to the fact that she's extremely attractive. So compliments, in my experience, are not usually the best way to go. Compliments will work a little bit more better if you email to a, to a girl who is a bit less, uh, a bit more insecure. And, uh, you know, maybe she doesn't score uh, 8, 9, or 10, she will be maybe a 7 or a 6, and, uh, you know, then maybe a compliment might work a little bit better. But if you want to, uh, to email, most of the times what works best is to show that you have a confidence edge, that you are not afraid of, you know, kind of challenging her a little bit. And that usually works, works uh, best. Now, you have to stay respectful, right? And you don't want to be aggressive. Being challenging is very different than being aggressive. If you are aggressive, you are, um, you know, um, kind of disturbing her security. Challenging is like triggering a little bit of uh, her uh, interest and uh, teasing her. It's really doing the same, but using humor, right? You want to tease her because this is what is going to trigger the best uh, possible response. So, uh, you know, what, uh, what do you see again? Uh, simply look for um, you know, one aspect of her personality that you can make fur fun of. I will give you more examples in another video, but for now simply remember that, okay? You want to tease her, you want to challenge her a little bit. Another way to, uh, to contact her is also uh, an opinion opener, right? You are going to check on her profile and you notice that there is something she really likes. She, uh, she really likes a specific author, for instance, or a specific book or a cer certain movie. Um, and then you can ask her for her opinion on, on that specific, um, you know, specific uh, uh, thing. You can also ask her for an opinion on places to go out. Where is the last, uh, the most interesting place she has been partying lately? If you notice that she's from a certain city or a certain place or a certain neighborhood. You can ask her that kind of questions. Open-ended questions that require from her to give you an answer. And uh, as a headline, you can, you know, you know, say something which sounds like, I was thinking, you know, something which shows that there is something in your message that she wants to read. Okay, more on this coming soon. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.